Hey, what's up, Prophetic Weekly? I hope everybody is excited about today's show. Today, we've got some really good words, some words that you need to hear because the body of Christ is moving. Now, the body of Christ is also moving in some directions that won't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but I'm telling you, you better flow with the Lord. And also, a lot of these words are talking about the kingdom authority that we have. You need to stand up in this hour and you need to be who God has called you to be. Let's get into the first word. The first word is by Kent Christmas. I was watching one of his broadcasts and, and he was talking about this season that we are entering in. Now remember this key point, entering in, which means we're in it at the very beginning stages of it. In this season that we are in, you are going to hear the Lord with great clarity. This is from Kent Christmas. My spirit agrees with this word 100%. I've been telling people you are going to have clarity and insight at a greater degree than ever before in this year. And he also really felt the, the spirit of the Lord speaking to him about the scripture where it says that when God gave us the spirit, he did not give us the spirit with a limit. Now, that's one of the things that I really feel strongly about. In fact, my wife's women's ministry is called Limitless. Um, we talk about that all the time. There's no limit to God. There's no limit to the kingdom of God. So why should the children of God and the children of the kingdom of God, the children of the kingdom of heaven, why should we live in limits? We should not live in limits. We should be limitless just like the king is, okay? So the words that Kent Christmas was saying is that this is going to be a season that you're going to really tap into the revelation of the Lord at a greater degree and move into that. Next word is by Bonnie Jones. She is the wife of the late prophet Bob Jones. And she, whew, I was watching one of her broadcasts, just the spirit of the Lord was all over it. And she was talking about how the Bible says that we have the keys of the kingdom. And she said that the Holy Spirit was talking to her about, you know, you've always had the keys of the kingdom, but you've never had the revelation knowledge that you do right now to be able to carry the keys, steward the keys, and do what God has called you to do. That you are entering into a season, there's, you know, entering into a season, that you are going to be able to manifest and operate in the kingdom of God unlike any other season before. And the keys of the kingdom, you are going to know how to use them at a greater degree. And clarity, you're going to have clarity unlike any other time before in the history of our life. Friends, wow. And then she goes on to say that God's government is on your shoulders steward it well. She's talking about, and she really did a great job articulating this, but she said the thing is, a lot of us don't understand, we have authority. We are given the keys of the kingdom. We have authority. We are God's government. Steward well. Take that upon you and do what God has called you to do and operate in a great measure of that. Friends, we're starting off with two home runs back to back. Powerful words. Let's go on. Doug Addison had a word. Now, this word is very important. I'll tell you why. The word is the Lord is going to give you deeper understanding. Now, let me explain something. Over the past three weeks, I have been talking about deeper wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Go back to Bonnie Jones' word. I've been talking about the keys of the kingdom and clarity unlike ever before. And then with Kent Christmas word, I actually spoke about God giving us the spirit without a limit in, in the past three weeks. That's why these words came so alive to me because it is exactly what the Lord has been speaking to me about. I actually have a prophetic word God gave me calling dive deeper. And I had a, a vision of just diving deeper into the things of the Lord. And when the Lord showed me that word, the Lord was like, I've got more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that no man has tapped into, but it is available to those that want it. So spend time going after that. And so those three words are starting us off in a very, very powerful way. Now, the next word is by Rick Joyner. This word is right in line with their words. I'm excited, okay? And he talked about a new breed of ministry. 
He said, as we approach the end of an age, wait a minute, the end of an age means we are entering into what? A new age, a new season. Ooh. Isn't everything aligning perfectly today? And it says there will be a new breed of ministry that will release, be released on the earth and it will be true disciples of Christ and they will go out and make true disciples. This powerful by rejoiner, so this word is so powerful because one thing the Lord has been speaking to me is the false and the fake will not make it anymore. It won't make it. It's gonna be the true believers, the ones that love God, the ones that are full of consecration unto the Lord, the ones that love people deeply. They are going to be the ones to move forward in advance and they will be the ones that are making true disciples. And guys, when it says a new breed of ministry, ministry is going to look different. A lot of ministry is going to look different. I was thinking and praying for a lot of my old friends who are still trying to do ministry the same way that we did it five years ago, ten years ago. You're seeing pastors get let go from their churches. You're seeing ministers get out of ministry. You're seeing people do marketplace ministry at a greater degree. You're seeing things differently now because God's moving differently. It's in a new season. Stay current with the Lord and you will move and operate in a great degree. Next word is by Lana Vazer. She said, I heard the Lord speak over many people. It's my resurrection power that brings life. And it, that power is bringing forth your comeback. Now, if you know that you know that you know God is about to bring a comeback to you. Write the word comeback and I'm going to pray for you because I'm believing that we are about to see a whole lot of people make comebacks for the kingdom of God. I'm believing there's a lot of people for some reason you quit, you failed, you tried to do it prematurely. I don't know what happened. A circumstance, a situation knocked you out, but the resurrection power of God Almighty is about to hit you and you are going to have your comeback. Yes, let's go with this word. She said, recently I heard the Lord speak to me that it is my resurrection power that is bringing forth the comeback. She said, I saw many who have been in times of shaking and breaking and in this shaking and breaking time, many people have felt like they've been knocked out or completely disqualified. Bible says no matter how many times you get knocked down, you better get yourself up. It didn't word it just like that, but I put it in the East Texas Greek, okay? Get up. It's comeback season. It's comeback time. Everybody loves a comeback story. Oh, you might be comeback player of the year. You might be known as the comeback kid, the comeback prophet, the comeback business owner. Oh, your marriage may be the comeback marriage of the year. Let's just say your prodigal sons and daughters, they just about to come on back to get yourself back where you're supposed to be, kids. All right, and it says that, that this is the day to fight. You've been exhausted. You feel like you've been left out. But listen, you are leaving that place. You are leaving that place. You're leaving that place and you're going to a new place. One thing, I, I say this all the time. I'm just kind of joking when I say it, but it is the truth. Favor is my portion. And favor knows my address. Woo! I remember... I've had so many comeback seasons in my life. I've been rejected by so many people. I've been pushed aside. I've been forgotten about. I've been left to die on the side of the road, but I don't have an ounce of quit in me, and you don't either. Woo! You don't either. Come on back. Next word is a good word by Christy Johnson. I released a word about this two weeks ago, very similar. And she said, the dam is about to burst. And she said, a few days ago, I received a very significant vision. And in this, there was a huge wall, just a huge wall. 
and it was a very strong fortified wall and it was holding back a huge reservoir of water, okay? I had this exact word I released a few weeks ago called the dam is breaking. This was called the dam is about to burst. In my vision, the water represented two things. One, um, it represented provision, finances, miraculous breakthrough financially, wealth transfer. Another thing is because that was a reservoir. What, what is a reservoir? A reservoir is resources that are held up and usually in, in the natural it's water. And the Lord also told me that when I had this vision that it was the moving of the Holy Spirit that now is about to be the time. Same word she's having. That's why I love when prophetic voices get the same word. Why is that? Because so many different people have different spheres of influence. So God will speak the same word, give the same dream, the same vision to so many people. Why is that? Because they all can blanket the whole body of Christ. Okay? She goes on to say, it was a strong fortified wall that was holding back the water of the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Woo. She said, as I, and I surveyed the wall in the vision, she said, my heart was discouraged because every single brick looked like the size of a house and the wall looked like it would be impossible to break. She goes on to write that it seemed like that the wall wouldn't break, but she, she looked at the water, the reservoir, and she said the water was moving in perfect harmony and, and the water was moving and it was about to make a strong move towards that. That's how the Holy Spirit is. There's about to be a strong move of the Holy Spirit. In prayer this week, um, we have our corporate, one of our corporate prayer meetings, we were praying and somebody said, you know, I, I can't say exactly, I can't tell you exactly what's going on but I feel God moving in a big way and he's about to make known what he's about to do. Well, a lot of the people in prayer, they were like, I feel the exact same way. And a lot of people are thinking that right before the end of uh, 2021, even in the first few months of 2022, that God is about to do some big, big things because we feel the spirit moving in perfect harmony, lining up with people's agendas, looking for a place just to bust on through. So guys, this is a very, very, very encouraging Prophetic Weekly. I hope it helped you. hope it blessed you. Uh, if you need prayer for anything, remember, go to my website, jojodawson.net, go to the Contact Connect button, hit it. There is a place for prayer. Please send me your prayer request. I want to pray for you. Also, Every day I get about 10 messages about our health coaching program um, to help people with health and wellness and then also about our coaching opportunities. I cannot believe how many people are messaging me about this. And so if you want information on that, same place you got prayer, ask me about health. I would love to jump you on our program. We got some amazing deals going on right now. And I want to help people walk in health, walk in wellness, and maybe even get another stream of income or a new job by being a health coach with us. And when people run with my wife and I in this business, we're in contact with you every single week. And we, we are going to walk with you to make sure you're successful. I love helping people be successful. So love you guys. This was a great week. A lot of great words. A lot of good stuff. Use your authority. Get ready. It is a great season that is upon us. And I love you guys. And thank you for spending a little bit of time with me on Prophetic Weekly.